I know what it was like coming home at the end of the day and my wife asking me, you know, how did it go today at the White House? And I think of all these folks and who they go home to and talk to and they've now all been exposed to a virus. I can guess a lot of them are really worried. What's it like being in a White House in a moment like this? I mean, you have to kind of like methodically work through the program and you have to kind of figure out how do you keep the business going. You know, that's a challenge now because as near as I can tell, at least most of the senior White House staff is now going to have to be in quarantine too. Put yourself in the White House right now. Are there circumstances where you may know something as the White House communications officer and you can't tell people? Well, sure, yeah. I mean, you know, you've got to be conscious all the time of what is the public's right to know and what is the government's obligation to tell. I think you do have some obligation to sort of report on how's the president doing and what is the consequences of whatever treatment he's getting. We went through a lot of conversations about this, and I did with the president's physician, and we talked a lot about how much do you disclose. And uh, we came up with the conclusion that we needed to be transparent. I think people have a right to know what you know the president's health is, and uh, I think that's been kind of a long-established axiom and it's been challenged because you know people going back to Franklin Roosevelt didn't really know much about the health of the president 